Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create a trend line. So why do we use a trend line? There's two reasons to use a trend line. One reason is to show trends in existing data. So for example, um, not in this example, but if you had an XY chart, you know, you can go ahead and chart the trend of that data. So in this example, the reason why we're using a trend line is to forecast future data. So for this example, let's say that we have 12 months worth of data and we have a target uh, chart here which is this blue line and then we have our actuals chart maybe these are target cost and actual cost and we've got the actual cost going from January to May and if we use a trend line we're going to try to forecast where that the actual costs are going to be uh, after May for maybe from June to December and we look to see that our trend is upward and it's going about the same as or it's almost the same as the target. So I'll go ahead and show you how to create this trend line. So let's go ahead and bring in the this data. Let's go ahead actually we'll bring in the whole data, the whole table. Select that control C to copy, go into sheet two and then control control C to copy, control V to paste. Now we have that. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and Let's see, I'll just select these two columns first and click insert line chart. And I'll get that nice target line. What I'm going to do is uh, now I'm going to go ahead and bring this in this data. Actually, I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Control C to copy and Control V to paste. And you can see it in, it's a nice way. It's a quick, you can see that's a quick short way to bring in additional data into your chart. Now, in order to get the trend line, so there's two ways to do it. You can either go out to layout and go into the analysis group and click trend line and you have these different options or you can right click and select add trend line and it'll bring up the same window. Let me move it over here a little bit. So now you, we see we've got this trend line and by default it picks linear and you can see that it's similar to the other the other trend line I had. So let's do a little bit of formatting. This is a kind of a light color trend line. Let's go ahead and just give it a, a little lighter, a little lighter uh, color. Let's make the point a little bigger and give it a little dash. Whoops. Give it a little dash, uh, dash type. Go ahead and click close. And now we have our trend line here. Now it's going. Now it's extrapolating the June data out to here for December. Now these. This is a linear trend line. And if you didn't know, you can actually also add additional trend lines. So if I right-click the actual number and add trend line, let's say that you know, th this data moves a lot, and so maybe we want to do a moving average of about two months. So every two months, it's going to show a trend line. So I click close. It's added that trend line here. Let's say, you know, for we know that later on we're going to have some additional data here. Let's say maybe we'll add 25, and we can say maybe this this month, the July month wasn't that good. It was 19. So we can see that we've added some more trending, and you can see this two month moving average has changed a bit, and there's also a legend that tells you. So you can actually add additional trend lines. Here the default is the linear trend line and we've got a two month moving average trend line that base basically takes the last two months and kind of trends it there. So the trend line feature is something that enables you to do a little bit of forecasting based on some preliminary data. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos from me, click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and leave a comment below. I'd like to hear from you and hope to see the feedback. Also, do you think others might benefit from this video? If so, click the share text below. YouTube will automatically provide a shortened link to this video and give you options to share on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and other social networking sites. Again, thanks for watching.